Hey, welcome back. Today, we're gonna make this super cheap cylinder head vacuum tester. Works with manual pump, or if you want, you can adapt it to a vacuum pump. We're gonna make this super cheap. For me, it was free. So, let's get to it. So, here's the part where we stick it the bandsaw. This is just four inch channel in my case. I cut it four inches long. We're gonna bring it back to the bench and make sure she's nice and square. We're gonna begin deburring. Want to make sure there's no sharp edges. We'll get some brake clean here, and we're going to spray the backside and make sure it's nice and clean. Then I was coming off on this paper towel. And then we're going to stick this on. And you're going to see I'm going to make sure I'm putting lots of pressure on there and getting it stuck nice and fast. And now, time to drill holes. Round and round we go. Sort of like my life. So we get the holes drilled, make sure it's going through that foam. And now we're going to stick an air coupling in here, because this is what I had, and it worked. You can see I used lots of blue RTV and forced air dried. So now we're going to begin testing. I'm using my piece of granite countertop that's just lying around I use for different things, but you can see when I push down it actually seals, which doesn't surprise me. This thing isn't flat by any means, and I know that. I just use this more as a hard surface. It worked perfect for testing and verifying that, yes, we can hold a vacuum with this whole setup. So let's move on to actually testing the cylinder head. I'm going to start on the intake port, and what this will do will not only check the valve seal, but the valve stem uh, seal itself. We see really no leakage, which is good. And now I'm just going to release the pressure and just show you that it's actually staying in place just through the pressure. And then we'll move on to the combustion chamber just to see, and you can see that gasket actually squishing down, which is pretty cool from the vacuum pool. This is another way of can test, and you'll always have some leakage no matter what with this. No matter what, you're gonna have leakage. This will at least indicate if there's any major problems with the head right off the bat. Now these heads still need thoroughly gone over. At this point, I'm gonna say they're a good core, and I'm pretty happy with this homemade tool. It'll have plenty of other uses. So, until next time, I shall see you.